Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite applications that I use on a daily basis. I'm a content creator and also software engineer. So when working on a code, I find myself creating screenshots and sometimes annotate them to share with the team. It makes it very, very easy to collaborate with the rest of my team and I used to use Mac default screen capture, but the Clean Shot X has taken my screen recording, screen capturing to the next level. Before we take a look at all the features of Screenshot X and how I use them, I'm going to just mention they're not sponsoring me. It's just that their application is amazing. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Clean Shot X. I've already installed Clean Shot X and here is the interface for that. So basically you can capture area, click on that and you can just draw a rectangle and this area will be captured. And you can see at the bottom here, you will have a little pop-up, which basically is going to help you to open that in a browser or in any other application. All you gotta do is just drag and drop. I'm going to go and take another screenshot. So we'll just say capture previous area. Okay. And here I have this pop-up, which I can use to pin, to close, to upload to the cloud. It's got some cloud options as well. And I can also annotate. So click on this little button here. It'll give you this window where you can annotate your screenshot and tools that are provided in ClinShot X are pretty good. Like you want to draw an arrow. You can do that. You can draw a rectangle, a box, a circle, a line. You can also create out things. You can draw something like, you know, drop shadow effect. And then you have this text highlighter You can change colors. Okay. So all the options that are required to annotate your uh, screenshots are here and they look pretty nice. In Windows world, there are applications, but they look really ugly. But Clean uh, Shot X is really, really nice in terms of the tools available here. Now that's a very basic options for annotation. If you go here, you have an option to capture window. For example, I was working on uh, this Ionic framework, so I'm gonna just do this. And I'm going to use this capture window and you see this icon now, click on that and then you'll have this window as captured with the background automatically, you know, assigned to it. Next option that I'm going to show you is going to blow your mind. Okay. Well, there are other applications do the same thing, but clean shot X makes it very, very nice. So you have this scrolling capture, for example, we have this code. Okay. And you want to share that with your team. And if you want to just take a screenshot of it and you don't want to share like, you know, just a file, you could do that. But if you just want to share a screenshot, you could actually do a scroll capture. So go here and I click on scrolling capture and then just draw a window on the file like that. Okay and then click on start capture and you go down. Okay. Now once you go down, you will see your code is being captured. Okay. It says slow down, but that's okay. Now I click on done and here is basically your uh, screenshot and it just opened that into your uh, VS code as well. So you can see it has actually recorded this skull capture. So that is such an amazing feature in this application. Other than that, you have the self timer. You can also capture text from images. Now this is available natively in a Mac OS now, but again, if uh, you want to capture text, it's pretty good as well. You also have an option to record screen. And this is one of the options that I use as well. So if I just draw a window, I can draw, uh, I can record my screen and you can see my webcam here. I can just move my webcam around as well. Here are some options for a mouse and then do a modification to your screen size. You can record the GIF, you can record the video as well. And the quality is great. Now this application is uh, great for one more reason, because it's not very expensive. It's only got $29. It's a one-time payment, no subscription. 
and that's why I really like it because you buy it one time and that's it. You, you got an application and it works. And I've tried many screen casting op application, but most of them have some uh, ugly tools and also they don't give you a best quality of your screen recording. Last thing, we'll talk about the usability of this application using shortcut keys and configuration options available in this application. So we'll go to the preferences for CleanShot Axe and in the shortcut window, you'll find pretty much all the shortcuts that are required for you to be more productive. For example, for me, I have not set up any global level shortcuts, but I have set up some shortcuts which helps me to capture area and directly annotate that. For example, this capture area annotate and this helps me to basically quickly take a screenshot and start annotating and then also have this uh, shortcut where I can put my uh, screenshot into a clipboard which should be somewhere here. That's one, copy to clipboard. So that's really good. So, you know, this kind of shortcuts help you to work faster and CleanShot X definitely provide those options. If you're interested in taking some screenshots of your computer screen or recording your screen, this application is definitely going to be great. Okay, that's about it for CleanShot X review. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up as well. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.